In this video, we will be working on releasing our infraspinatus uh, as well as teres minor. So these are the two muscles and mostly infraspinatus is the one that we'll be talking about the most. This is one of our rotator calf muscles. So those injur injuries in the rotator calf are very common in athletes and just people who maybe have done something, picked up something heavy, twisted their arm, the shoulder the wrong way, so put too much weight into one side. And those injuries can be really aggravating. They can limit daily activities, limit athletic performance, finish an athletic career. So it's really important that we address, that we maintain the health of these muscles by releasing trigger points and any tightness in the area. Well, infraspinatus is an interesting muscle. It looks almost like a slice of pizza that covers pretty much the entire area of our shoulder blade. So if we're going to reach back, we're going to find this, the spine of our shoulder blade right here. I'm going to move it around to make sure that this is it. And then we'll go down. Our infraspinatus, we're going to feel the shoulder blade over here. Uh, our infraspinatus helps us rotate the arm outward. So if you create any type of an outward rotation, you will feel that muscle bulge up under your fingertips over here. Now, the interesting thing is whenever there are trigger points and they're very common, this muscle, you will not most likely feel pain over here. All of the pain is referred to the front part of the shoulder. It feels like this really deep, almost joint pain that feels like you really injured your joint other than it's, uh, rather than having it as a muscle pain. So this is a sensation to be looking for, if, for uh, to look in, to be looking for. And if when you start massaging this area, if you feel the pain over here, some people feel like, oh no, it's like some kind of nerve ending or something that I touch. No, this this just means that you found the right spot to massage your infraspinatus. So there are two tools that are, are good to use. We can use a small, smooth stirrer ball and a spiky stirrer ball. So first of all, now we already know where the muscle is, so let's go ahead and start by finding it one more time. Scapular spine, go right underneath it. So the area, pretty much we can start in any part of the muscle. Now another good thing for us to have, since we'll be massaging this area, we want something to support your head on. I can use just to wait, I like to use just a regular um, large stair ball, but you can use a pillow, a balance cushion, yoga block, wherever you have on hand. It's just a good way just to support your head to avoid any kind of awkward position in your neck. So we're gonna, I'm going to place my ball over here, I'm going to grab it when I need to, and then find the, spot, the scapular spine, go down, press the ball in that spot already, and just by applying this deep pressure, you can start feeling some of those trigger points engage right away. So from here, I will simply go down, place my head on the large ball or the pillow of your choice. And in this position, we'll just start exploring this area. The arm goes upwards. It's not the most comfortable spot to be in, and especially to move, but it's a very good muscle to release over here. So go ahead and start rocking back and forth. And most of the trigger points in infraspinatus are located closer to the armpit, so this is the spot that you would like to massage the most. And if you find a spot, well, let me pause there until you feel that nice release going. And you know that you, sometimes people feel like this nice warm feeling going through their muscles and the trigger point release is like um, a flush of hot water, warm, pleasantly warm water. Sometimes you just feel those sensations disappear and you type of like discomfort. So it can differ from person to person. If 
you want to try, you can always use a spiky ball. It's a little smaller, it's a little easier to access. It won't offer as much pressure, but it will help you. Sorry. But it will help you deep, uh, get it deeper into those like crevices. So again, you're gonna find your scapular, place the ball right over there, bring the arm out, rest your head on the ball, and you can start rotating the arm back and forth. You can move your hips side to side. So it's a little easier to maintain your position in this spot. And again, start looking for different spots over here. And oh, teres minor is the muscle that runs right underneath our infraspinatus. So while we're in this position, let's go ahead and explore it as well. So go a little bit the lower bottom portion of the shoulder blade near the armpit and explore this area and try to feel for it. Okay, and now we can finish with just a stretch to the side. It's kind of hard to get to these muscles to stretch, but we can, uh, it's not going to be a really, will not feel like a really deep stretch, but still it's a good way to hold your arm over here. Okay, and now we can release the same um, trigger points on the other side. We can go to the other side and repeat the same sequence. 